Welcome to the Edge of AI podcast. Stick around for five minutes, get your dose of current events in today's Edge of AI dispatch segment, powered by Metaverse Post. This is your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and AI. Today, we dive into Microsoft's $3.2 billion AI investment for Australia, Shutterstock's new AI editing features, and Cent ML's recent $27 million funding round. Microsoft announced it will invest $3.2 billion over the next two years to bolster its AI and cloud computing capabilities in Australia. The move is part of the company's broader initiative to address the rising demand for cloud computing, driven by the increasing use of AI technology. Microsoft said it will provide AI and cloud skills training to 300,000 Australians. Moreover, the company aims to expand its data center footprint in Australia from 20 sites to 29. Microsoft President Brad Smith said the $3.2 billion investment is their largest ever in the history of Microsoft's presence in Australia. Software platform CentML recently raised $27 million in a seed funding round. Led by Google's AI-focused venture fund, Gradient Ventures, with participation from NVIDIA, Deloitte, and Microsoft Azure AIVD, Misha Malenko. CentML said the funding will be used to enhance its product development and research capabilities. The startup also plans to expand its engineering team and global workforce. CentML's platform helps identify bottlenecks during AI model training and predicts the total time and cost to deploy a model. It can also automatically optimize model training workloads to enhance hardware performance. Shutterstock announced new AI-powered editing features for its 700 million stock image library. The company said that the users will now have the means to craft content for any project using AI-powered design pools for editing images from Shutterstock's library. The AI editing features are currently in beta and utilize the latest OpenAI GPT technology. Shutterstock also said that artists whose AI images are licensed after editing will be compensated. In July, Shutterstock entered into a six-year agreement with OpenAI, granting OpenAI access to Shutterstock's image data. In an exclusive interview with Metaverse Post, Jim Chappelle, global head of AI and advanced analytics at Aviva, discussed the transformative impact of AI in various industrial sectors. Chappelle told Metaverse Post that as time progresses, AI will continually enhance its intelligence, gaining access to industrial knowledge and information through large language models. He also believes that generative AI will be key to shaping Industry 5.0. At Aviva World, the company's annual tech conference, the company announced the launch of Connect Industrial AI Assistant, developed in collaboration with Microsoft. The AI Assistant aims to tackle industrial use cases by harnessing the power of large language models, providing users insight into industrial queries. The Frontier Model Forum, a collaborative tech industry project focusing on the safe and responsible deployments of AI models, unveiled its inaugural AI safety fund with an initial backing of over $10 million. The Frontier Model Venture, founded by tech giants Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI, aims to empower independent researchers worldwide. The new $10 million fund's goal is to innovate evaluation methods and tactics to pinpoint potential threats in advanced AI systems, ensuring safe development. Amazon is rolling out a new AI image generation tool for advertisers to generate backgrounds based on product descriptions and themes. The company said the AI tool is currently beta testing with only being available to select advertisers. Through the tool, advertisers can upload a photo, type an image description for the background they want, select a theme, and easily generate a desired image. Users can also refine their image by entering another text prompt and generate multiple versions. Brands today are utilizing generative AI to help simplify the process of creating an ad. As per Reuters, large companies like Nestle and Unilever previously admitted to using AI softwares like ChatGPT and Dolly. Likewise, Cisco introduced multiple AI tools at the WebEx One customer conference. The company said it aims to improve video conferencing performance through AI automation. Cisco announced a real-time media model designed for audio and video use cases such as noise removal, gesture recognition, speech, and video enhancement. The company said WebEx Assistant will start shipping later this year, while the new real-time media model feature will be released in the first part of 2024. OpenAI says it has created a new team to assess and evaluate AI models to protect against critical risks. The team called Preparedness will be led by Alexander Madri, the director of MIT's Center for Deployable Machine Learning. The new team will be tracking, forecasting, and protecting against the dangers of future AI systems and researching AI's ability to fool humans and creation of malicious codes. OpenAI is seeking ideas for risk studies from its community with a $25,000 prize and a job offer to the top 10 submissions. That's it for the Edge of AI Dispatch today, your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and artificial intelligence. This news segment has been empowered by Metaverse Post.
If you enjoyed today's dispatch, kindly subscribe, rate, and review us on the platform that you are hearing this. And if you want to dive deeper, check out Edge of AI podcast featuring captivating conversations with top pioneers in the space, also on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. We also invite you to visit edgeofai.xyz to learn more about us and get the direct links to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Tune in next time for targeted coverage of the most compelling stories in market, industry, and culture.